So let's see what this saber can do. Indeed, I love this lightsaber. I don't know why I couldn't move there. Are my way out Anyways, I'll explain how this works pretty uh, quickly. Now, if, if you've ever played Daggerfall, look up the combat system for Daggerfall. That's kind of how the lightsaber works, but with right click you do a uh, double swing thing. I And you don't want to be like reckless with it. You don't want to flail the thing about like that all the time because that leaves you open to more shots and you block automatically. There's no block button. Um, there might be a blocking mechanic, I don't know how it works, but, uh, in my opinion, blocking just works by complete luck. And if you hear something like that, that means something fell in the water. And this game, this game and water, two things that just don't mix. It's like drugs and alcohol. Them together, maybe by themselves, they're pretty cool, but, you know, with, together they're just not a good combination. And I'm just being sarcastic. I really don't do drugs. I don't drink. I, I couldn't do drugs because I just can't. I just can't do the drugs, I'm sorry. And if you think I do the drugs, that's your problem. But anyways, to briefly explain what's going to happen the rest of the game... Oh, MLG arm shot. You see that? You see that? And yeah, you did see that I skipped those enemies. That was actually what I was going to talk about. Um, ow, Jesus, hit the wall at 100 miles per hour. Um, at this point in the game, you're probably going to see me skip a couple enemies every here and there. And that's because if you take the time to fight every single enemy in this game... This will take you a long time to beat this game. And actually, I believe in Mysteries of the Sith, there are certain spots where... Uh, that's the expansion pack, by the way. Um, there are certain spots in the game where the enemies respawn, which I'm not a big fan of at all. But um, you don't want to just waste your health and your life away on these enemies all the time. Because also... You know, you just don't want to do it. And as you can tell, sometimes the blocking works, sometimes it doesn't. And I don't like this part. I will switch to a gun for a second. Because this part... Oh man, I don't like these things. And I never use a gun really after this part of the game because, I don't know, I'm just stuck up like that, I guess. I'm too MLG Jedi to do that. Imagine if uh, Obi-Wan said that. I am too MLG Jedi to train Anakin Skywalker. This whole thing would not have happened if it wasn't for Anakin Skywalker goofing. Watch me make all the Star Wars fanboys in the world. I don't mind Star Wars fangirls because I don't really know any. That's probably a good thing. Um, watch all of them go up the wall. And by the way, I'm using auto run. If you don't know what auto run is, it means I'm not having to touch it. Why is my accuracy so awful all of a sudden? Anyways. Um, auto run means I don't have to touch the run button. Kind of an obvious thing, but you know, there's probably someone out there, What's auto run? I don't know what that is. That's, uh, uh, that's a mystery beyond my belief. Those two words together don't mean anything to me. Um, I don't really recommend using it the first time you play this game. And I know my accuracy is terrible, but also the Stormtrooper rifle does not have very good accuracy. I make it accurate. But, um... Yeah, I don't really recommend doing it your first time through the game unless you're familiar with fast-paced games like Doom or Quake or... I don't want to die. And this game has, like, no breaks. If you hit a wall too hard, you'll fall down, slide, die, and uh, then you're dead. Kind of makes sense, and I will cut out the deaths. I was debating in the game, the pre, you know, testing to see, eh, should I leave in the deaths or not? And I decided, yeah, I'm just going to cut them out like I do with Half-Life. So I'll try to do good, and this is a scary sequence to me. I don't like underwater anything in a video game. If you know why it involves the ocean and big waves and nothingness below me. And you know, I might as well get the time to talk about Ape Escape, because I was rudely interrupted by an Ichiosaur in uh, Half-Life. So basically, Ape Escape, if you've never played that game, there's an ocean world type, where you're playing in the oceanic stage of the Earth. My god, that gave me nightmares as a child. I don't know why I continued to play that game after that point, because that was really freaking creepy. I don't like ocean levels in particular, I don't like anything ocean. If there's an ocean anything, and this game series does that really nice, and you'll see why I don't like it in like two seconds. Just watch this. See that thing? Yeah, you don't need to. I don't want to look at it. It's big, it's scary, I don't want to don't want to put my penis in that thing. Because that would probably hurt. Watch all the tentacle fanboys. Who the hell thinks that's even sexually attractive? I'm just curious. 
I love people that like, oh, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. I've seen enough tentacle porn to know where this is going. Uh, why are you watching that? That's kind of gross. Why would you find tentacles violating women attractive? It's disgusting. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. And I'm going to switch to a gun because I have no shields right now and I don't want to get killed. And I, I just was talking about cutting out deaths, but I don't want to die. So let's just kill these bimbos with a gun and be practical. Practical reloading, and there's no reloading in this game. Even though it says auto reload in the actual like options, I have never reloaded a single shot in this game. Maybe the mods, I've never seen any mods though for this game. There's a couple, I'm pretty sure. There's some out there, but I, I don't know. I don't pay attention to this stuff. I like the old vanilla of some games like this one. And this part, I swear. Let's not die. Okay, now I forgot to address the one thing this game was really good at was looping. Now, unfortunately for all you modern Call of Booty players, you have no idea what spawn looping is. Okay, that's the only thing I appreciate that modern gamers don't have to deal with. They don't have to deal with spawn looping. Okay, that octopus tentacle porn thing killed me. I'm not gonna let that happen. <laughs> Um, anyway, spawn looping essentially is exactly what it sounds like. Imagine someone spawn camping you in a video game over and over and over. In this game, it's merciless. There's no autosave, there's no checkpoint system, and you know what? The game does not care. The game laughs in your face whenever it kills you because it doesn't care. And you know how many times I had to hear that Down Syndrome laugh of the freaking, you know, I apologize if I offend somebody with that, but, you know, they sound like they have Down Syndrome. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm done. That's terrible. I am very apologetic. I better not die for that. I'm probably going to. I mean, I'm probably going to die for doing that. That was a terrible joke. But you know what? I don't care. It's my gameplay. I can say what I want. If I offend you, that's your problem, not mine. Anyways, uh... Basically, spawn looping is very common in this game. Um, I do a lot of it every now and then, so I apologize if I do it. So I'll cut those out, obviously, but I'm not going to demonstrate spawn looping. If you want to see spawn looping, just play the game and save it in an awkward spot. Like, I just had to... It took about 10 minutes, I'm not going to lie, about 10 minutes to get rid of those bimbos killing me. Because you can see this is the game's flaw. When you respawn, you know what happens is you have to click fire. When you click fire, you lower your guard. And most of the time you're using your <gasps> lightsaber. So that means you're going to swing and lose your defense. So anyways, that's the end of the level. Hope you guys enjoying it. If you don't believe me, there's the ship. End of level. Beep boop, son. Beep boop. <laughs>